All right, let's talk about, about the different types of aphasia. We're going to talk about Broca's aphasia, represented by the B, Wernicke's aphasia, represented by the W over here, and conduction aphasia, represented by the C. All right, maybe we'll make a brief mention of some other types of aphasia at the end. Okay, so let's start with uh, aphasia in general. Aphasia is a higher order language deficit, which a per when a person has an inability to understand or speak the language properly, or both. So let's start with Broca's aphasia. So Broca is area is going to be in the frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe, okay? The inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe. That's why this guy, this B over here, is in the frontal lobe. And he is saying, I am broke and frustrated. That's because in Broca's aphasia, where the Broca's area is affected, the patient is, the speech is broken. They understand fine, but the speech is broken. That's why he's saying, I'm broke and frustrated because the patient appears to be frustrated. They understand the condition that they have and they're frustrated. As opposed to in Wernicke's aphasia, where the, the, this guy is saying, well, why worry when we're wasabi walruses? The alliteration of W is just to help us remember that we're talking about Wernicke, the W. But you see, he's using language properly. Each word is appropriate, but the it doesn't seem to make sense what he's saying. Say Wernicke is like a word salad. Okay, that's the point. And we see that it's in the temporal lobe. It's in the temporal lobe, the superior temporal gyrus of the temporal lobe, the superior temporal gyrus. Then we come to conduction aphasia, aphasia, and that can be caused by damage to the arcuate fasciculus, the arcuate fasciculus, and which is basically the bundles of fibers connecting Wernicke's area and Broca's area, okay? And here in conduction aphasia, the person actually speaks fine and understands fine. The interesting thing is that the patient often cannot repeat words that are said. They can't repeat. That's why he's saying C is going to stand for can. Can you please repeat that? All right. And then there's global aphasia, which in, affects both Wernicke's aphasia and Broca's area, um, but, as well as the arcuate fasciculus. By the way, if you notice, we're in the left hemisphere over here. That's because the aphasia is usually caused by pathology in the dominant cerebral hemisphere, which is usually the left one. And we'll just make a brief mention of the transcortical aphasias. That's when usually a patient is able to repeat, repeat stuff back fine, right? The patient is able to repeat stuff back fine, but there's a deficit either in comprehension or in speech or in both. All right, that's it for aphasia. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.